Hello everyone. Today we will perform twisting as well as bending simulations of a loaded crank. The analytical calculations on this loaded crank has been made by Shigli Mechanical Engineering Design Book. We will just create a simulation study of this loaded crank as and at the end we will compare the our simulation results with the calculation or results derived from the analytical calculations. Mainly, we will compute the reaction forces as well as torques in the arm AB and BC and compare the results with these values. As well as, we will compare the bending and the torsional stress at the, this fixed point A with the, these values that has been made by Shigli. Here is the maximum bending stress at point A and the torsion stress at point A. The strategy of our well of our simulation study is that first of all just we will make a simple 3D sketch, then we will assign a circular profile to this sketch, then we will start our simulation study by treating this study as a beam element. We will apply loads at this free end and make it fixed. Then we will compare our beam simulation results with the hand calculations made by Shigli. So let's start our study now. So go to the 3D sketch. Starting from region. This is 5 inch. You can see this is 5 inch and this is 4 inch in z direction and again 1.5 inch in x direction. Assign the dimensions. This is 5 inch. This is 4 inch and this is 1.5 inch. Now, using the weldments, we will assign a profile of a structure to all these three arms. Here we are. We are selecting the square tube. So select these three lines. Okay. Now change the profile of all these structure members. Click this one and just draw a circle starting from origin with diameter of 3 by 4 inch that is 0.75 exit from sketch now you can see we have created a crank that is not similar to that of a problem but it is this now we will add the simulation module. Please note that this crank is fixed about point A and load is applied at this point. Force is 300 pound force in negative y directions. So these are two boundary conditions that we will apply considering the beam elements. Ok, click on the simulations, start a new study and from the general simulation type select the static, here you can see this end and this, these both ends are free, first of all assign material that is elastic and go to the fixtures. 
then apply fixed geometry at the point A. Then we will apply a load of 300 pound force in negative y direction here. Go to the loads, force and select the joints, select this joint, here is the reference dimension, reference plane, that is the front plane, change units to English, increase the symbol size to visualize the load directions. Sorry, no joint is selected, just select this one. And select in the y direction, force is 300 pound, okay, in y direction. Now run your simulation study. So our simulation has been completed. Now our first step is to compute the forces as well as movements in AB section and the arm BC. So just go to the results. Here is the list result force. Now go to the list beam forces. From here select the forces, change units to end pound and show only beam end points. You can see here that the movement in the AB is 446 and 1950 and here that you can see the torque and the arm AB is 1200 pound force and while the torque and arm BC is 450 pound force. If we check the results here, you can see the torque in the BC is 450 pound force. While the torque in AB is 1200 pound force. You can see torque and BC as 450 pound force and it is 1200 pound force in AB. While the force is 300 pound force. You can see the force is 300 pound force in AB as well as in A, B and CD and BC points. So we have computed the moments and torques in arm AB and BC. For stress element at A, the binding stress is tensile and is a we can check the bending stress at uh, the point A. You can see the bending stress at point A is 47,000 psi. That is at point A and it is very close to our Shigley's calculations. Because the cross section is almost same as that we can we put here that is the diameter 
of 73B4 inch. And the bending stresses for the section BC is changed because the cross section is changed. So bending stress in arm AB at point A is Forty-seven thousand psi, and the torsion stress is fourteen thousand five hundred psi. We can check the torsion stress. You can see the torsion stress is that one at the point A. So I hope you, if we summarize. this study first of all we make a simple line diagram and then assign a simple cross section of the diameter 3 before inch then applied the bounding conditions that the here was the fixed and the load was applied in y direction at this free end and then we computed the forces as well as torques in the arm ab as well as in bc then we computed the torsion stresses as well as bending stresses at the point a we also observed the stresses in the arm bc but it was different from our hand calculation made by shigley due to change in the cross section but the stresses torsional as well as bending stress was same at the section a that as that of the hand calculations so if you have any query you can ask me in comment sections thank you for watching take care bye bye